Okay, so this is the long dark. Um, I'm just going to let the video mostly speak for itself. I uh, won't be doing much uh, commentary. Um, this is about a 20 minutes of the gameplay. This is off Xbox One on their um, basically what they would, what you, you know, on Steam would be like early access. Um, but then they call it game preview or something to that effect. Um, it's just like on Steam, except the only exception is you get to play uh, an hour of it without having to spend any money. See if you want to keep it. If you want to, you know, throw money at it. Uh, in this case, it was uh, twenty dollars for early access, which is not unusual. Uh, you know, supposedly that's a discount. We'll see when it actually comes out if I actually uh, saved any money by doing this. Um, so this is a survival game. I'm doing the sandbox, which is basically they don't have the story mode available yet in the alpha. Um, so this, the sandbox just drops you in the middle of the woods, and you got to survive, and it tells you how long you survive. Um, so on and so forth, you know. So you're just trying to survive. And in this particular point in the game, I had found this old abandoned um, a dam, uh, power dam, or, or whatever you want to call it, and I'm exploring it. Um, and as the video goes on, I, I venture back outside. And, uh, I will point out that in the sandbox, if you die, it's permadeath. You got to start all over again. You don't go back to a save point. Your save points are gone. Um, so once you die, that's it. Permadeath on the sandbox. I, I don't know how it works in the... I doubt it does that in the storyline. Um, that would just be really weird. Uh, but at least in the sandbox, where you just see how long you can survive, uh, it's permadeath. Um, and in this case, it's either you're getting eaten by wolves, <laughs> or some sort of animal, or dying, you're freezing to death. In my case, I found out freezing to death is definitely an option. Um, I don't have it on this video, it was after I finished these, uh, these clips that I'm <laughs> wandering a little too far from shelter. And, and, and one thing I hope in their change is that even though you build a fire, you're still freezing, the fire does not help. You would think a fire would at least help some, take the edge off, but no, it does no good. I set up a fire, got it underneath sort of an overhang, um, I'm telling you this because it's not in the video, and it did no good. So I ended up dying because even though I had the ability to build a fire, apparently it was just still too cold. I even tried climbing inside the sleeping bag, just not work. I, I could not find another cave or any type of shelter. So, yeah, you, you know, just, I should have just stayed right where I was and, you know, supplied up and then gone, ventured out in short <laughs> areas. But, you know, I was just goofing around with this. Um, but now that I know, uh, when I actually do sit down and play it a little more serious, you know, I may not die as soon. But it's kind of fun to see how long you survive. I think I made it a little over a day. <laughs> so, which tells me that, you know, maybe I shouldn't go venturing out into the Canadian wilderness in the middle of winter. Um, so, yeah, right now I'm just venturing. I got out of the, the dam. And I guess I said I wasn't going to do commentary, but I'll do a little bit. Uh, and uh, there's actually a cave up here. And the only reason I know this at this point is because I had ventured here before, had to stop playing, and then jump back in, and my the load was actually back in the dam. I thought it had put me here, but, um, you know, there's checkpoints. You don't get to save anywhere. Which was good, though, because then I'm finding more stuff. For instance, I walked completely past this frozen dude right here. Um, so there's, like, an extra knife. And, of course, you can disassemble stuff, and I think there's uh, me doing that in this video. But this is a survival game. This, I'm not going to do much with this because, let's face it, it's not, it's not going to have moments of, ooh, ah, you know, it's me searching through stuff, building fires, just trying to survive, not going to be all that exciting. But I just wanted to throw it out there so anybody may be interested in seeing what the game's about, so they want to, you know, jump on the, their Xbox One and give it a shot. And, you know, and I didn't even look to see if this was uh, on uh, Steam, which it probably is, so maybe you're hard to do it there. But either way, probably the same game. I doubt there's much of a difference. Uh, I like the art style. Um, the, the sound the, is pretty good. I like the, the birds, just the wind and all. Whenever you get in a really bad, like, snowstorm, like, I don't think it's in this video, but uh, when I died, it's definitely, it 
it, even on a, um, you know, let's say if you were on Oculus or something like that, the immersion of that would just be kind of freaky. You'd probably start feeling really cold because it, it really gives you this uh, sense of isolation and desperation. <laughs> and you're just trudging through the snow. Um, just trying to find somewhere to build a fire that's shelter so you can survive through it and keep going. And I'm un over, um, encumbered, so you have to worry about that. Uh, it doesn't at least stop you in your tracks. It will slow you down and add to your fatigue and and so on. Here's a, your sleeping bag, and I I know you can buy an, uh, not buy, but find other, another bedroll which might be better. Uh, so you're constantly looking at resources. The way you get like wood and stuff is kind of through a menu. It doesn't actually have an animation. You chopping down a tree or something to that effect. Um, the flare finding went out. Um, you also have to worry about fuel for your lantern. Uh, you know, food. You're constantly monitoring all that. It's a survival game. Uh, if you've ever played them, you know pretty much what you got to do. Just got to figure out the basic mechanics, how they're a little bit different, um, and you know. That's about it. Anyway, um, I'm just going to leave you right here, let you watch the rest of the video. Um, I hope you enjoy what, what's left of it. And I go ahead and thank you for watching.
but nobody needs this anymore. Too heavy. 